Hey YouTube, it's Lotus PC Game here with a sort of mod tutorial. Uh, I saw you guys actually were very responded on our mod review for the brewery mod, so we gone ahead and sort of set you guys up a tutorial. Today I got Adon right beside me, and even better, we have Sickle. I don't know where he is. Sickle, where are you? I am coming. Hold on. You're coming. I see a flying fucking squid. Is that you? Hello. Are you a squid? You are not facing me. Oh, hello. He's gonna ink all over you. <laughs> Alright, so today... It, before you go, uh, let, let me change into something more comfortable. As he goes Do not watch me changing. As he goes <laughs> behind the bowling alley. Alright. So in this video, we'll be showing you guys how to make <coughs> the alcohol, and for time's sake, we will not be like, be like, oh, two minutes, seven minutes, no, so on and so forth. Yeah, will we not doing that? Back. I noticed you are wearing. Oh yeah, you're doing the hats thing again, and yes. you're a inside joke. Nope, you're an under chest. Nice. Oh. All right, so beautiful. Today. Depending on time, we'll probably get all the way up to mead, and then in part two, we'll finish up with rum and beer. I'm not going to be doing wheat beer because beer and wheat beer run such a thin line that it's sort of irrelevant, and beer sort of is better. So, to begin with, I'm going to show you guys how to actually set this up, and then. I'm going to have Adon and Mr. Fishby start cooking up some stuff. After. Goody goody. Cooking. So. Illegal cheat. <laughs> oh, so that's to begin in my with, name. You're going to need netherrack. And you want to dig two down and place your netherrack. And. Oops, I need flint and steel here. And while you go blow stuff up. So you put. You get your flint and steel and you light this. Big whoop de doo. And then you put a. What's going on here? Oh yeah, you and your oh fire, but okay. So you put the cauldron above the fire, filled with water, and it'll start to cook like these. After you're done with that, you want to have a brewing stand ready to go. And what's really cool is glowstone dust. Just put a stack in there if you can, or maybe like twenty or ten. It doesn't go away. It's just like a filter. For your uh, distilling needs, and we have these labeled and stuff like that. Uh, Sickle had actually helped us out and sort of made a tutorial on how to make the barrels, and I crashed. And I crashed. I will be right back, guys, <laughs> in a second. All right, guys, we're back. Um, like I was saying, don't use that, Sickle. I think we might be lagging too much as it is. Um. <laughs> Just, uh, Don, while you're waiting, go help us reduce the lag, please. I'm having trouble here. Can we get rid of the lag? Um, but yeah, you just put fences along the edges here, and then, not fences, wow. Uh, you want me to do that? Stairs. Yeah, kill. Alright, keep eye on me. Keep up. No, he's not going to work. Is anything less than four block deep has to be in plus sign pattern. Now, once you do that, you place stairs. Now you can see you place stairs upside down. It, basically, you make it look as close to circle as you can. After that, now pay attention to this. Put sign on very top middle. Put spigot. Uh, put fence. At very bottom middle. On sign, you are going to put on top line barrel this capital B. Now if you right click it, and uh, by the way, if you put it correctly, it should say in your chat barrel created. Go ahead there. Uh, take yeah. sign. Take the sign I threw to you. Place it just like I said. And show your chat. You said capital, correct? Capital B. 
capital B barrel. And then in the chat, it said nothing for me. But it's already created, so that might be the issue. Otherwise, these, uh, these fence posts on side here are just decoration. All you really need... You, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> All you really need is centerpiece, spigot, and sign. You then you make barrel. Alright. So, since we got that all sorted, I'm going to go over here to, to the wall of miscellaneous info you guys are Ooh. Ah. You okay there? I am perfect. <laughs> I am so hype. Okay, so vodka, I am on fire. we got all the information, and we're going to actually start cooking vodka now. So, for vodka, we're going to need 10 potatoes. And we current before the video we currently tested to make sure that it takes one or two. And it only takes one per right click now. It changed since the last mod review. So we would take ten potatoes and we would right click it into the cauldron. It might there's a charged creeper. There's a nut oh. Oh hi there. <laughs> so that's sickle? I believe so. If it's just look, yeah, that's just... <laughs> all right. So you take your ten potatoes. Let's go over here. Take your ten potatoes and put them right click on the cauldron. Okay. It made pretty noise. Did you do all of them? Yes. Okay. So after you're done with that, we need a clock, which it's not a clock for me. It's a watch. For some weird reason. It's okay, I got a clock. And then, after you're done with that, since this culture is seeding for less than one minute, so. Don't ask. You need to wait for 15 minutes for it to be cooking. So, yeah. Um, miscellaneous items you will need will obviously, for measuring brewing time, is a clock or watch. You also need a these few items, a water bucket, some glass bottles, a cauldron, flint steel, another rack, a brewing stand, and some glowstone. Otherwise you'll be needing the miscellaneous ingredients like wheat, sugarcane, grass, sugarcane again, and potatoes. Um, if you guys come across like potato mash and Boiled herbs, that means you haven't completed your steps, and you... Unless... Unless... Unless what? No, if, if you correctly distilled vodka, you still come out as potato mash. You? you just need to... Duh. You just need to make sure you leave it in for the right time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to make sure that you follow your steps to a T, or you will not get your desired item. Unless you're really lucky. Oh, shit, you're gonna have a bad time. Since... <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, oh, fuck. I'll be right back, guys. Mm. Alright, so... Hey, everybody, it's Adonimus here. Thanks, Adon. Yeah. I was recording. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Alright, um... So, you guys are gonna probably be like, why do you have the glow... the redstone lights with the switches on them? Um, like in the brewery mod review, this is just to indicate, which Adon didn't do, that we're actually brewing something in here. So, yeah. As you can tell, I'm an expert at making alcohol. He's totally an expert. Um, we'll see Made how Heineken. much time this takes is left, and we'll be right back once it's done, guys. Alright, guys, we're back. Um, it's been about time to actually finish up this potion there's 61 um so 14 minutes I'll get this done it's at 15 now it is at 15 okay so I'll get two if you want to get the other bottle just to show what you're doing yeah See, at first when you boil the ingredients it will be potato mash and which actually just gives you regeneration which isn't really honestly that good because still 
So put your bottle in the brewing stand right there too. And so you just had to put it on vibrating. The still will be for three minutes. So yeah. My name is Satan. Good fucking name it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, he's obviously Satan. So every episode, I think we've only got time for maybe one alcohol per episode. Like, well, tutorial. So, next tutorial will be absinthe. And then mead, rum, beer. So on and so forth. And oh. we'll obviously show you the effects of... Of, yeah. How long Alcohol. do you distill? Three minutes. How long has it been? I'm going to get three shit times first. distilled. Three times distilled. Sweet. Duh. Also, a tip for you guys who are watching, it will only distill up to max level of the still able. Alright, really? so I'm going into survival oh, mode, oh, and God. now I'm going to show you what it does. <laughs> so you drink it, right. and now Damn everything went dark for a split second. I got poisoned for 7 Let's seconds, get faced. weakness oh, for 10, oh, God. and oh. I am just... Like stumbling and everything, <laughs> and he is so sick, he's puking. So, if you do brew space info, uh, this is if you have world edit, you'll be able to pull up your how drunk you are, what quality you are. If you do for anyone else, it'd be BR info, but I have world edit, so it'd be like, oh, what brush would you like to use? So, yeah. Um, that's about it, guys, for this, uh, tutorial. And... Oh god, I think I'm going to crash. Mr. Fishby, aka Sickle, and Adon will be back next... Oh, Oh, I crashed! <laughs> <laughs> well, Perfect ending. Obviously, the server's like, goodbye. So, we'll see you guys next time. My name is Satan! God fucking damn it. Yeah.